in the Lake District again. Gonna go just packed up in a lay-by. Um, just outside Grasmere near the Traveller's Rest, not too far from there. And we're gonna basically do four train rides. I've done all four before, so none of them are new. We're gonna go up to, first up to Seat Sandal and then across to Dolly Wagon Pike, Nevermore's Pike, finish off on uh, El Velin. Uh, there's a bit of snow on top. As you can see, it's very sunny, so should have clear views and uh, should be a good day out. So we're just making our way up an easy path to so make the slog up to uh, Seat Sandal. Seat Sandal. Quite a way to go. Just missed a, a bomber or something, a big plane going over Thilmere. Got on a photograph, I don't know how well it will turn out. It's on our way up to Seat Sandal. Got Love the snow line now. We're nearly the top of Seat Sandal. Above the snow line. No cloudy versions this year. Mountain tops looking great. You can see across to uh, Steel Fell, where it was last month. Looking across to Skidor, and then over to Dolly Wagon Pike, where we'll be going up next. Once we get to the summit of uh, Seat Sandal, We're not too far now. Almost on uh, Seat Sandal now. Some good views to the coast. You can see the rocks. The summit just ahead. Here we are, getting into the uh, top of Seat Sandal. Just looking around us before we go to Seat Sandals, piles of rocks, we're a decoy. Fairfield in the background and the actual summit of Sea Sandal is just ahead. So, making our way up onto uh, Seat Sandal summit. It's my second time up here. Last time was here we had a uh, cloud inversion. But uh, this year we've got snow. Seat Sandal. First of four today. Second time up here. Doing a 360 on Seat Sandal. Clear views. Uh, climb up to Dolly Wagon Pike next. Well today, uh, I'm not on granola biscuits, I'm on three course meal, I'm on bacon butties. Christine's made me into a three course meal person. What's going on? Leaving uh, seat sandal behind now, we're on, on the way up to Dolly Wagon Pike. So we get views into uh, Grasdale Town very shortly. On our way down off uh, Seat Sandal, taking in these awesome views over Grasdale Town with Fairfield and St Sunday Crag in the background. You can see our choice of two paths, a zigzag path which we're going to take, or Route 1 straight up the uh, 
front of Darling Wagon Pike. Uh, making our way down the slope. These uh, these spikes are doing us uh, doing us proud. Looks quite steep, but we've just dropped off. Uh, and we're walking into uh, Grassdale Town. It's looking fabulous. Way up uh, Dolly Wagon Pike. It's quite steep. After this, I think uh, most of the uh, hard work for the day is done. So on our way up to Dolly Wagon Pack. Still a ways to go. Just uh, looking around to see Sandal. Fields, St. Sunday Crag, St. Tool's Water, Stride the Edge in the distance, and uh, Dolly Wagon Pike's just up there. Just on our way to Nevermore Spot, some guy sort of sat on the side of the crag in front of us with a rope attached to him. Nice place for a spot of lunch, I suppose. Came back to uh, Dolly Wagon Pike, came round, Bull's Water. See you over to uh, Striding Edge. See you up to uh, Nevermore's Pike. We're in deep snow, or am I in deep trouble? <laughs> I've not been thumped today yet. <laughs> not yet, it's time. Yeah, not yet. Just trudging our way up to uh, Nevermore's Pike. Not too far from the top. Just looking back the way across the Windermere in the distance. Just on our way up to the Burkitt Eye Crag. Before we make our way up to Nevermore's Pike. We have 360 off top of our crag, see it's uh, quite a good summit. See out to the coast, see to Windermere. See plenty of uh, industry tops. We're all the way over to uh, Scotland, it's pretty clear. It looks uh, almost as though you can touch it. Curtains on uh, Nevermore's Pike, so there was bag and both just to be sure. Here's the second one, bagged. 360 on Nevermore's Pike, see what to El Velin, where we're off to next. Cast your cam, striding edge. Looking around towards Old Water. Back the way we uh, come towards Dolly Wagon Pack. It's a great clear day today. So we're on uh, Bag El Valley next. So uh, looking around, we can see our first glimpses of Thirlmere again. Uh, 
shade now. You can tell it's getting later in the day. As we uh, make our way up to Hell Valley, it's quite the snow in this area is quite deep in places. Just looking over towards the stripe edge, you can see uh, a number of people making their way across. As we make the uh, easier route up to Hell Valley. So you can see where it was uh, a few weeks ago, down at the Red Town, Burkhouse Moor distance. And here's the summit shelter on our valley. See you down into the Red Town. Pulls water, gassy cow. So raised and white side. This it's going over to uh, El Valley Summit. It's where it looks a bit dodgy today. Just going in on to uh, El Valley Summit. It's like Christine's already beat me to it. Yeah, this is El Valley. Uh, 360 off El Valley and towards uh, Cassie Cam and Oldswater Burkhouse Moor where there was a couple of two or three weeks ago Shriding Edge looking out to the coast you see the coast of Scotland quite clear looking back on uh, El Valley, see all to Striding Edge, Red Town. Oh, it's a Wolves War soon, gets the cap. Making our way back down now. Apparently, we have to undo a verk it. <laughs> yeah, we have to. We have to do a verk it, apparently. See over towards Skidor and uh, Bassenthwaite. We're just on the uh, Burkitt Lower Man. It's our 360, it's quite a decent view off here. Sun will be going down shortly. I think we might get back this time before we put our red torches on. Famous last words. Yeah, a great view into uh, Skidor and what must be uh, Bassenthwaite. Not sure it's picking it up too well on the GoPro, but I'll have a go anyway. Should get views into film here soon. Going our first glimpses of uh, film here now, but it was looking a little bit dark because it's solid now with the sun. So I'm just making a fairly steep descent now down uh, towards the parking area. Still getting pretty good views. The sun is getting quite low in the sky, but I think. On this occasion, we'll get back for uh, torches are required. Just uh, getting a bit more footage. Probably, hopefully, can pick out film here. It's uh, looking quite dark, no sun shining on it. We're going down a pretty steep snowy bank here, so it's a little bit treacherous. But the uh, 
the spikes are doing a quite a decent job up to now. Yeah, it's a bit steep down this uh, path, steep with snow. We're just making our way down off uh, Helvellyn back to the parking area near Fernley. It's quite steep and plenty of snow, so fresh snow as well. Um, Spikes seem to be doing all right. We haven't slipped and fallen yet. Yet, anyway. Uh, sunset over yonder, nice colours. I don't know if you can pick out fairly, I'm still going down on a quite steep snowy bank, but looks like we're out of the snow line fairly soon and uh, not too far from the car. I think we might just make it back before the head torches are required. Almost uh, back of the car, doing uh, four way routes. I've already done them all before, but it's the second time round, third time on El Valley. So we've done uh, seat sandal, dolly wagon pike, then we went on to the Burkett Eye Crag, and then Nethermost Pike, El Valley, and then finally Lower Man. And uh, we didn't need our red torches, just managed to get back before the last of the light. Eight and a half miles. 3,400 feet of ascent. 